Okrema Media's Polity, I'm Sane Lamini. Researcher and analyst Professor Raymond Sadna joins me for Sadna's View, a weekly commentary on South Africa's political scene. Welcome, Professor. Thank you. Uh, recently, we had the news that the ANC in KZN is also going to have another, or is attempting to have another conference uh, tomorrow until Saturday. Do you think they've ironed out all the issues that uh, halted the previous one? Well, I'm not there, so I can't say. Um, all, all I know is there's been a lot of pressure on people to stop bringing court cases mm -hmm. against the ANC and they've sent down a team and the team uh, is led by Jesse Duarte to, uh, and that team reports that things are okay. Mm -hmm. My fear, however, is that we have to ask ourselves what are the problems in KZN? Mm -hmm. And the fact there's an announcement that they can have a conference tomorrow and all the differences have been ironed out mm. seems a bit unrealistic in the sense that we have to ask what are the problems? There's gate reported gatekeeping, mm. membership fraud, killings, mm. violence, uh, and so forth. Was all of this sorted out in one month? Mm. Now, uh, also there's the question of the Zuma supporters are undermining the presidency of Cyril Ramaphosa. Now, if you look at some of the statements of people uh, yesterday applauding the going ahead of the conference, the language that they were using was the language of so-called radical economic transformation. Mm. W uh, all the discourse which was associated with the Nkosazana Dlamini Zuma uh, campaign now, I don't have a problem uh, with people still holding and fighting for those positions within the ANC, mm. but when it was uh, advanced in the context of this new conference, it made me wonder whether it is not uh, going to be, it's a called a unity, they're going to elect, they're supposed, uh, allegedly going to elect a unity ticket, but when, uh, whether it's not in fact the uh, compromise is in fact one which allows the previous provincial executive committee to be dominant. Uh, we are told that Sikhle Zigalala is going to be the chair. I don't know if all of that is true, mm. but if it's also flagship for so-called radical economic transformation, uh, I think it's a paper unity, but I don't know. All I'm saying is let's be cautious mm. uh, and see what happens, not just at the conference, but what happens after the conference. Mm. Can you make us understand why KZN is so important to the ANC? Well, the a KZN is the biggest province in terms of membership, mm. although people question the uh, integrity of that, mem those m that number, mm. whether in fact some of those members have not been bought or are dead and all sorts of things like that. Uh, so that's the one thing. The second thing is it's important because it's a killing field. People are dying every day in that province and they're not being, very few prosecutions mm -hmm. are taking place. Thirdly, it is important because unlike previous presidents of the ANC, uh, Jacob Zuma has uh, not uh, retired quietly. <laughs> He's very active there, mm. and it may be a bridgehead for opposition to the Ramaphosa presidency, and that, first of all, uh, inhibits unity within the ANC, but can also uh, make instability in terms of government in general. Mm. And we know that the previous conference was halted uh, less than a month ago. What were we supposed maybe to see from the NEC uh, trying to make sure that the, the, the coming conference tomorrow is, is, is all systems go and nothing will make uh, any issues? What was the NEC supposed to do? I don't know what they're supposed to do, but all I know is that they had about a month or three weeks, mm -hmm. and in that period, the problems, as I indicated, the problems of gatekeeping, uh, we're talking about things that were 
months back. Mm -hmm. How do you undo all of that in this period? Mm -hmm. Or do you whitewash what has happened? I don't know. Uh, I don't think that there was enough time to remedy the problem. That is my guess. Mm -hmm. And we will, whether I'm correct or not, will emerge in the period ahead. Mm -hmm. But I think uh, the whole um, building of the huge ANC and KZN is something that happened long before this. And you can't undo that if you intend to. And I don't know if they intended to in such a short period. And you can't rebuild. See, the problem that the Ramaphosa-led ANC has is that the people who run the ANC are primarily the Secretary General and the Deputy Secretary General mm -hmm. who are not exactly enthusiastic about Ramaphosa. Mm -hmm. So when they go down to these things, they make statements and they do things that may not be in the interest of unity of Ramaphosa. Now, someone did say, oh, we accept that Sir Ramaphosa is the president. They go through these motions, mm -hmm. but whether they, in fact, or making things more secure for him or making things more vulnerable for him is questionable. And should we be worried that we haven't had anything from the, the members who went to court previously to hold the conference? No, there was a statement from them yesterday. Uh, as far as I can understand, they agreed to, um, it was mediated uh, to um, that they wouldn't continue their case. Now the question really is, uh, was the pressure so great mm. that they couldn't continue? Or did they uh, see a different way of understanding the situation? It's unclear. And that's mm. what I'm saying is there are things that we don't know. Mm. And lastly, Raymond, today we are celebrating a Nelson Mandela Day. And I remember you recently had a series of columns uh, written for, for policy, specifically about the men, and you've worked closely with the men. And if we look at what is happening in the ANC, in KZN specifically, what do you think Mandela will be saying or doing to make sure that uh, there is unity in that province? I can't speak for Mandela although I suppose I can speak for him because he's <laughs> not here yeah. and he can't <laughs> contradict me. Mm. But <laughs> what I think Mandela would have done is he would have understood that you've got to build organization mm. carefully, slowly, mm. and listen to people. And I'm not sure that that culture is there uh, at the moment. It may be in the organizing committee of Sikhle, uh, not Sikhle, Senzo Mzkunu, mm. uh, but um, I don't know. Uh, but the people who are driving this seem to be the secretariat of the ANC. I'm not sure who they're listening to, whether they're listening to everyone. Mm. But let me say, I'm not saying I'm cynical, I'm cautious mm. about this. And uh, I can't say what Mandela would have said. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. That was Professor Raymond Satna speaking to Krima Media's policy about the KZN elective conference.